anniversary, Tina. I think he did it. Well, win number two of the year. How does this feel tonight? It feels bloody fantastic. Um, you know, this race is just so hard to win, and um, there's so many good cars. And even though you're in a got a good starting position, it really doesn't mean anything. And you just want to try and run a good, consistent race. And the, the track was fantastic because there were so many different lines that it was actually confusing because you didn't know which lines to pick. So just kind of tried to run a consistent line. And every restart, I, I couldn't do what I did before on three and four. So it would take me about four laps to get going. And, you know, I've seen a couple of noses there once. And on um, that last run there, I, I think it was Steve got a pretty good run. But I was like, heck, I was like, stuff it. I'm just going to keep Bell on the top. So it worked out and uh, just so happy for the team. Guys did a brilliant job. Tyler Swank, Brandon Eikenberry and Chris Bow. And just so, so thank you to our awesome sponsor, American Racing Custom Wheels. And I just want to uh, say hello to hopefully Dan's listening. He's probably pretty prompt. And uh, a real big thank you to our guys in Australia, our owners that just Oh, put so much into this team, Bob Gavinich, Pete Gavinich, and uh, it'll be early morning down there, so um, hopefully it'll make their day a little better. <laughs> you held off Steve Kinzer, Darren Pittman, Donnie Schatz. Knowing that they're right there, do you change how you're driving or do you continue driving exactly the same? Uh, look, when Donnie was on the outside on that one restart, I mean, uh, you know, his, his, his shots, he's good. He's, so I was like, well, what do we do here? Obviously, he's found a line, but... Um, I just thought, you know what, I'm just going to stick to my guns, run the line. I, I ran a little harder in three and four because he's really good at running off your right rear and, and going around you, so I just didn't want to let him do that, and it worked out. Well, congratulations to Kerry Madsen on win number two of this year, and a happy anniversary to you and your wife. Oh, wait. And I think it was definitely, probably... The, Tina, our anniversary, probably definitely brought a bit of luck and uh, we'll have to bring in some more races this year for sure. <laughs> definitely. Well, congratulations to Kerry Madsen and his American Racing Team. We'll head over here to tonight's second place finisher, Steve Steve, Kinzer. you gave it your all. You showed Kerry your mo nose on the back straight away. What were you missing tonight to just get that final win? Well, I mean, it was running as good as we could. Uh, it just, uh, I just couldn't get all four with him close enough to, to really, I could, if I hit two just right I could get out there but I'd miss it more and I'd hit it coming out of there so uh, just uh, sorry about getting to Donnie but I, I tell you these cars are not made to go double file double file double file double file and it's all it does tear race cars up and makes people mad at each other all the time but uh, it's just the way they run it right now. How was the racetrack with your car? Could you move around a lot tonight? You know I could actually uh, run a couple different spots the racetrack was really good I thought it was a great racetrack tonight. Well, congratulations to Steve Kinzer and the Bad Boy Buggies, number 11 on tonight's second place. Woo! Fun fact, Darren Pittman and the Great Clips, number 9 with third place finish, and now the World of Outlaws lead. How does that feel, knowing that? It feels great, to be honest with you. I, uh, man, we just, we just didn't have it tonight. I don't know if it was me or the car or what, but truthfully, we just kind of struggled for, after time trials. And, and uh, for to come out here with a third place finish and, and the point lead uh, on a night that I really feel like, you know, as a team, as a whole, we, we kind of struggled and just didn't have the car to win, uh, we'll take it. So congrats to Kerry. He did a great job. He was fast, uh, you know, all night. Uh, Steve got by us on that one restart, and, and we didn't have any, we, we just didn't have anything for anybody when we were behind him. So um, honestly, I'm happy with third for where we finished. And, uh, you know, top threes, top fives, that's uh, what's going to pay off in November, and uh, we'll take it. You battled with your teammate Brad Sweet, and I was watching you in turn one and two. It was like something just clicked, and you just pulled away on the bottom, and he was on the outside. What happened in the corner there? Well, I have no idea, but I'm going to guess that uh, he actually passed me on the outside and was quicker than me. I think he was definitely faster, and uh, he, he moved down where I think he, he knew he needed to be. And, and I'm, we struggled with our engines taking off here last year. The air is really high, uh, really high, and the altitude is really high, so you, you really struggle trying to get the fuel right in this altitude. And, uh, when he drove down in front of me, he kind of parked it and stopped, and I think his motor just stalled so I think he realized that uh, you know he just needed to keep momentum up and keep the tires spinning so I think he just kind of moved back to the top and and figured if he lost that spot he lost it but you know probably didn't want to get run over so I'm guessing I haven't talked to him but uh, he was pretty good and drove by us and and you know I finally started making maybe a little bit better laps on the bottom and and our engine was running really well we were here last year they weren't and so uh, Kale did you know did a lot of work before we got here today to make sure our stuff did run uh, you know as good as possible in this altitude so uh, like I said good, good night for us and uh, we'll go to Devil's Bowl with uh, some momentum taking over the points lead and uh, see if we can't get another win. That's for sure. Well, congratulations to Darren Pittman and his whole Great Clips number nine team on tonight's third place finish and now the World of Outlaw lead. Back to you, Johnny. Thank you, Natalie Sanders.